Hey guys, it's Dave from Diddy Drums. Welcome to this lesson on how to play Metallica's Enter Sandman on drums. Now, if you want to get the sheet music for the lesson, you can get it from the description section below. It's got all the parts we go through in today's lesson, which are the intro, verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. Okay, let's get right into our lesson. And just to let you know, the song is played at 123 beats per minute, okay? So that's, if you want to practice the metronome, that's what you aim for for these parts. All right, okay, let's get into the intro, okay? Now, the intro section, you've got this hi-hat playing the two and the four like this. It's a really good idea to count that and just count the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Also, you've got the swishy hi-hat sound, which means that you're going to have not much pressure on the left foot, okay? So one. Now that happens for a while. Eventually, you have the hi-hats playing the one, two, three, four, just for one bar. Okay, and that leads us into the main intro beat, okay? Now the main intro beat sounds like this. So what's happening in that beat, pretty cool, right? Is you've got the floor tom playing one end, two end, three end, four end. You've got the bass drum on the one, two, three, four. You've also got the tom one happening on the two and the four. But you've also got the second tom happening on the four and. Now it does sound like the drums are played on pretty deep toms. So if you've got like other floor toms, you might want to add them to the mix as well. All right, now there's three little crash parts we're going to go through. Now crash part number one is where you're playing the same beat there, you're going Except with that four and, instead of playing the second tom that you're playing with your left hand, you're going to play the snare instead. And as well as playing the snare, you're going to play a crash cymbal or you could even play a china if you wanted to as well. But I'll show you how that would sound. You go. All right, crash part number two is where we're going to play this pattern here. Okay, the easiest way to think of that part is your floor tom and your bass drum are just doing this. Okay, one and two and three and four and. Now on the two and and the four and, you're gonna add a snare drum, okay? But you're also gonna play the crash cymbal with it on the two end and the four end, like this. Crash part three sounds like this. Now what's happening there is you're going Notice the two and three and four and is It's basically going kick, crash, kick, crash, kick, crash All 
Right, intro beat number two is almost the same as intro beat number one, except you can add a snare drum on the four end like this. All right, now we're up to the intro fill. Now the intro fill goes for two bars and it's played between the floor tom, snare drum and bass drum. But you do have a crash cymbal that happens at the end of the second bar on the four end. Check it out. So one thing to be pretty careful about is starting off low in height, so softer volume, and then getting louder as the two bars goes along. It should sound pretty cool. Okay, now the main beat is your classic 4-4 beat, where you're basically playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. It sounds like this. So we all know that classic 4-4 four, four beat where you've got one and two and three and four and happening, okay? Bass drum on one and three, snare drum on two and four. It's not hard at all, but it's all about the feel, like the, the kind of emotion and the feel that you put into it. Because you could play it very robotic like this. So you want to kind of put a bit of muscle into it. All right, that's what's going to give it the, the kind of the raw energy that this song deserves. In fact, I do remember many years ago when I got this album, I put it on my CD player and I cranked it up to top volume and the walls were literally shaking. So definitely had a lot of fun with this song. Now with this song, you do remember that there's a crash symbol that happens on the four and, okay? Not every four and, but it happens sometimes and it would sound like this. So that's a very important crash symbol to get because it's very trademark Lars Ulrich in this song, okay? You hear that happen so much in this song. Now, if I slow it down, it would sound like this. So what's happening there is basically we're, number one, we're playing the crash cymbal on the four end with the bass drum, okay? But then we're also not playing the count one of the next bar. We come in on the one end of the next bar. Watch again. Okay, now we're gonna to get to the pre-chorus. Now the pre-chorus is a four bar pattern, which is kind of like in a half time feel because the snare drum is now landing on the count three. Instead of the two and the four, the snare lands in the three. I'll give you a bit of a demo. So once again, notice how we've got a lot of crashes on the four end again, okay? 
and on the fourth bar, you've got that build up. Trying to start off low in height and build it up again. Okay, once again, if you want to get the sheet music and practice away, you can get it from the description section below. Okay, the last part we're going to go through in today's lesson is the chorus section of the song. Now, the chorus actually goes for seven bars. And I'll give you a bit of a demo. Here's how it sounds. So the third bar of that chorus section has a crash symbol on the 4 amp. Check that bar out. That's the part to watch out for because it's a strange placement for the crash symbol. Also notice that the fifth bar does the same thing as well. Also notice the seventh bar has a crash symbol on the count one, but you're gonna hold that one, you're gonna choke it. So one, two, three, four. Play it on the one, two, three, four. And the next crash symbol's on the four end. Okay, and that kind of leads you back into the to that verse beat. The okay. All right, so there you go, guys. That's the lesson for today. Now, if you got some value, hit the like button, subscribe for more drum lessons, guys. And if you want to get the, the sheet music for the lesson, you can get it from the description section below. All right, awesome. That's it for today's lesson, guys. You're awesome. Have a great day. See you next time.